Kim, how are you? As a manager for a major software company, Lizette Stevens often finds herself face to face with people all over the world. And while she loves how technology keeps her in touch, she didn't always like how it made her look. I noticed that the double chin was very pronounced and it really, really bothered me. So Lizette did something about it. After meeting with plastic surgeon Dr. Derek Antel, she joined a growing number of Americans who were opting for chin implants. The availability of cell phones and digital video lets you see your appearance immediately. We're much more aware of how we look and we're much more critical of ourselves. Experts say that may be part of the reason chin implants saw the biggest surge of any type of cosmetic procedure in the last year. According to the American Society of Plastic Surgeons, chin implants shot up 66% in women and 76% in men. That's more than breast implants, Botox, and liposuction combined. On average, there was a chin implant surgery every 25 minutes in the U.S., and the biggest increase came in people over age 40. That's not surprising to Dr. Antel, who says whether they're getting them to accelerate their careers or slow down the aging process, chin implants are an attractive option. This is a great operation. It's done under local anesthesia with sedation. This has a rapid recovery. This operation, people are back at work within only three days. It worked for Lizette. After years of shying away from seeing herself on screen, she now sees herself in a whole new light. Very happy. It's night and day different, but yet subtly enough that it doesn't make me look like a totally different new person. In New York, this is Clark Powell reporting. Thank you very much for all your hard work.